the mill history in Columbia is really a critical piece of, of our local history um, and really was the economic engine um, that, that pushed this community into the 20th century. Telling the mill story in Columbia is really a, a critical piece of our past and there are very few buildings that um, were erected to support those. You know, the mill villages really were self-contained. Um, the people lived there, they worked there, they ate there. It's known now as Olympia. Uh, but years ago it was known as Pacific Mills Community because Pacific Mills owned everything. You hear that song, Tennessee, Ernie Ford, said, roll my soul to the company store. That was about it. They owned everything. They owned the mills, they owned the store, they owned everything. And you didn't have to worry about nothing. I mean, you didn't have to worry about a job. You didn't have to worry about a house. You didn't have to worry about no payments. Or you didn't have to worry about the light bill, nothing. You know, it was all furnished. It, it was good. It was really good. Uh, there's a lot of things provided for us, like they call it 701 Whaling, but the old Y. Uh, first swimming pool, I guess, in Columbia was right there. So any buildings that um, support that story are critical to the larger story of Columbia. 701, the Whaley Street the building that, that stands there today, um, was erected sometime between 1903 and 1904, and it was built as kind of community center for the Mill Village. It was a, a center of activity, really, for all the people. Uh, upstairs on one side, there was an auditorium. Mr. Ab Wallace, who run the place, and was paid by the company. He showed the kids a film, some movie, every Friday night. And every Saturday night, on the other side, where there was a gymnasium, uh, there was a dance of sorts. I, I guess it was a square dance, but I don't know, because I was just a kid uh, standing in front of it, facing it to the right, was where the, key, the library was, and it was a separate entrance. And then next to it, well, there was a petition there, and then there was a pool room. And then the next day, well, there was a concession stand uh, that the kids loved, naturally. <laughs> And uh, some winding steps that went up to the auditorium and uh, to the basketball court. And uh, then later they built a basketball court beside of the building. Go through the back door to the barbershop, go down the hallway and slip into basketball games. <laughs> but <laughs> the kid liked, but you know, they never did say nothing about it. But I'm sure there's many courtships there <laughs> over the years, you know. That's meat and dance or whatever, you know. It was just nice.